What's good Raider Nation, it's your boy Sanji back at it with another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Jonathan Abram, the third year player, a player that has really stepped his game up. A guy who a lot of people, let's face it, had written off over the past two years, saying he's one of the worst safeties in the league and, and stuff like that. And this season, he's really had impacts for the Raiders. You take this play right here. Jonathan Abram is going to jump the B gap and blitz and hit Justin Fields. And that pass falls incomplete because of Jonathan Abram. But I want you guys to look at this play. And think about the blockers that Justin Fields throwing to his running back has. At this point right here, you see this running back with a bunch of lanes, a bunch of blockers out there. You have guys blocked here. You have another guy blocked here. Uh, you even have a lineman coming downfield who can either block uh, the guy here or he can run downfield and block the safety here. Either way, this play could have been a huge gain for the Chicago Bears. But it was Jonathan Abram that forced this pass to fall incomplete. He forced this pass to fall short. And that's Jonathan Abram for you, man. These are the types of plays that he's been making the entire season. And we're going to show you guys a couple more plays throughout the season that Jonathan Abram has made. Moving forward, this is a third and four for the Chicago Bears. And the Raiders are going to show this split safety look. And Justin Fields is going to assume they are playing some sort of man-to-man -man coverage because across the board, you pretty much see just that. Guys lined up man-to-man, -man, two safeties. You have even a linebacker lined up over a running back. And it looks like this is just a cover two man-to-man. -man. And what Justin Fields doesn't realize is this is actually a cover one robber. And Jonathan Abram is going to be that uh, robber. And he's going to step up into the box. So not only does he cover the middle of the field he's also going to be responsible in case justin fields decides to take off so in this play if you keep your eyes on jonathan abram watch how he steps up and then that too he sees this play he reads that this is a designed quarterback keep if jonathan abram does not step up in the manner that he does if jonathan abram ends up playing the split safety and being deep this is going to be a first down but abram sees it he sees that it's a quarterback keep he comes up, he squares up, and he makes the play on fields. That right there is a beautiful play. Not only was it a nice hit, he he you know he wrapped up, as you're going to see. He's going to get his hands around fields, but he puts his helmet right into Justin Fields. This is a beautiful tackle right there. I absolutely love it, and this kind of bothered Fields the rest of the game, right? He had some back issues. Uh, he was getting uh, some work done on the sidelines, but these are the types of things that Jonathan Abram has been doing the entire season, and I want to get into some other games as well where he's had major impacts for the silver and black. Jumping forward into the Steelers and Raiders game, you're going to see maybe the play of the game in my opinion. Third and eight, the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to run a simple drag route, and Big Ben's going to check it off to his tight end, and this tight end gets very close to picking the first down up. Now, I say this was such a pivotal moment for the Raiders, because had the Steelers picked this first down up, and they're driving, they're getting into field goal range, instead, with just a little over eight minutes left in the game, the Raiders get a stop, and they're able to force the Steelers to punt. Up by two possessions, the Raiders are then able to take two to three minutes off the clock and punt the ball back. Time management is such a big part. And in this play specifically, the Raiders are going to be playing a cover two, uh, which is a zone defense. You guys are going to see that basically Jonathan Abram and Trayvon Merrick are going to split the safe, the, the deep halves. Uh, and then you're going to see that basically these five guys underneath are going to just drop into a soft shell. And the Raiders do a great job, uh, specifically Jonathan Abram. When you watch this play in its entirety, the thing that sticks out to me is the fact that not only does a tight end get the ball down here, but when these two first guys go to make the tackle, they do stop the, the tight end short, right? That is technically short. But what you're going to see is that Denzel Perryman and Jonathan Abram are going to make sure that tight end stays short. The last thing you want is this tight end, which you're going to see basically break those two tackles and attempt to leap forward leap to the left of the screen and jonathan abram and denzel perryman stop it short they are not going to allow this tight end to get that first down and jonathan abram lets the whole entire stadium know that this is now fourth down and these are some of the heads up high awareness football plays that jonathan abram has made 
And let's face it, he's been making these type of plays pretty much since he's been a rookie. I know he only played one, about half a quarter or half a game his rookie season. He played pretty much most of his second season. And I know he had a bunch of bonehead and mistakes. And I know some people hated Jonathan Abram for that reason. But if you go back and watch the tape, Abram's been making these type of impactful plays his whole entire career, college, high school and even now in the nfl the thing is is people around him are not incompetent and he's able to trust his teammates a little bit more so when he takes these type of plays and he makes them it's just that much more noticeable potentially the most pivotal moment in the raiders versus ravens week one overtime thriller was this play by jonathan abram you're going to see a second and ten play in which basically the ravens have converted this into a first down Lamar Jackson hits a wide open Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews catches the ball, thinks he's about to turn around and pick up a couple more yards. But here comes Jonathan Abram. Jonathan Abram's going to smack that ball out and force that pass to be incomplete. And then on the next play, on a third and 10, the Raiders are going to get a sack and force the fumble and basically win the game in overtime on the very next drive. But it's these type of plays, it's these type of moments that are the differences in the Raiders winning or losing. Imagine if the Ravens just pick up 25 more yards, they're in field goal range. And it's not even maybe 25 yards, maybe 20 more yards with Justin Tucker, probably the league's best kicker at the moment. But Jonathan Abram wasn't having it. As you see him right here on your screen, Mark Andrews is open, catches the pass, but it's Jonathan Abram who punches the ball out and that ball falls incomplete. These are the types of plays that have huge impacts for the Raiders, and these are the types of plays that I want to continue seeing from Abram. These plays right here, let's face it, these are superstar plays. Jonathan Abram just made a superstar play with this play right here. Great job, Jonathan Abram. Let's get into the next rep. One of the biggest criticisms I had for Jonathan Abram last season was that sometimes he would be out of containment, he'd be out of his run fit, and sometimes that would lead to big plays. That's not the case anymore. This season, he's really stepping up and just being a downhill player, just what we need from him. We don't need him to do too much, but we do need him to do his job. And this play is a great example of how he avoids the blocker, number 80, and he's going to just get right into there, boom, and make the tackle. And this is a gain of zero yards. Great job by Jonathan Abram and Denzel Perryman. By putting Jonathan Abram in the box, one of the things he has to do is cover running backs. You're going to see that the running back here is going to have an option route. Uh, he's going to come out of the backfield and he can either cut it to his right or he can bring it back inside. He's going to bring this one back inside. But Jonathan Abram's right there in coverage. And Justin Fields doesn't even attempt the pass to the running back because Jonathan Abram is right on him. Now, this play isn't anywhere on the stat sheet. You're never going to see it unless you watch the tape, unless you put the all 22 on, unless you're watching the end zone angle as we are here. You will never see this rep right here. This is a great job. There's literally nowhere for the running back to go in this play because Jonathan Abram is right on him. Even if the quarterback attempts to throw this pass, fit it in, Abram's right there for the tackle. You get three yards on this play max. Great job by Abram. Before we wrap the video up, one of the things I really want to point out is how pivotal Jonathan Abram has been for, uh, at the time, special teams coach Rich Basachi, current head coach. Uh, but Jonathan Abram, as you guys know, has been playing special teams. The reason why I want to point this out is the Raiders have the trust in him to have him play containment on these plays this isn't backyard football right these guys aren't going to just you know run this way and this not guy's not going to run that way and this guy's not going to run that way it doesn't work like that on special teams you play containment uh, every single guy has to fill their lanes this is how special teams works if you don't know this already um, basically everyone runs down these imaginary lines uh, and then you basically contain and fill a gap. It's just like one big run fit. But this is how special teams draws things up. And the most pivotal players are going to be the outside contain. Because the outside contain, if you break it, you 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 allow touchdowns. On this play specifically, if you keep your eye on Jonathan Abram, who is playing way down here on the far right side of your screen, you're going to see that he's going to do just what he's asked to do he's going to just play outside contain he's not going to sprint downfield he's not going to do anything special but the reason why i bring this up is because this running back right now uh, assuming that the outside containment breaks down this running back can easily come back this way and, and potentially hit it to the outside right 
And Jonathan Abram is out there playing contained. He knows what his responsibility is. He knows where his gap is, right, on this play right here. He's going to take the far outside angle, and there's nowhere for number 19 to go. And I know this is such a small concept, such a, a non-important concept most of the time. But special teams is pivotal. The Raiders didn't have great special teams last year. We're giving up 30, 40-yard kick returns as opposed to the Raiders didn't have those in return. And that really flips the, 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 the field position. Jonathan Abram has been a pivotal part of this team. And I'm very happy that he's a Raider. I hope people realize today how pivotal he is. I showed you guys five or six plays that he made throughout this season that have had huge impacts for the Raiders to either win or at least be in the game in the games that they lost. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about Jonathan Abram in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.